One of the biggest priorities right now is dealing with the privatization of Medicaid. That is affecting so many people in my district and across Iowa because there's just not the right answers from the governor. It has been done too quick and it has been done in the wrong way. And so fighting against that and um, making sure that you know we find the answers for our constituents and we help them with this process as much as possible and delay it if we can. And uh, that's going to be one of our biggest priorities. And then also education funding. Um, you know, we waited way too long last year to get the compromise. And then when we left um, to see that compromise vetoed was incredibly frustrating. And uh, that's one of my priorities going in there, making sure that we get that education funding done early and done right and signed into law before we leave. Because our students can't deserve, or our, our students can't afford to wait anymore for us to keep playing politics. We need to figure it out and um, our future uh, deserves more than a 1% increase. So we'll be fighting for more and uh, fighting for appropriate funding for the students. Another priority of mine is making sure that we pass legislation that actually has to do with helping families and not just family values. That we actually pass legislation that values families. And a piece of legislation that I worked on last year and was a big proponent of had to do with adding adoptive family leave. So if a company already offers um, paternal leave for a, a family after they had a child, then if you adopt a child, you get the same leave. It makes sense. It's leveling the playing field and making sure that adoptive parents have time to bond with their children. And it's just a really good law that uh, I was surprised to find we didn't have on the books. So uh, that's something that I hope we can work across party lines and actually get that done. Um, I'll be pushing for it um, all session. And um, also other policies like paid family leave, um, affordable child care, uh, you know, starting those conversations and making sure that, um, you know, if the Republican controlled House doesn't want to do it, well, at least I'll be talking about it. And uh, affordable college, making sure that we're doing something about that. Last year I proposed a bill that had to do with um, tuition assistance and uh, we had a subcommittee on it. So we got the conversation started and that's what I want to do again this year is keep that conversation going and uh, really start producing results that are going to actually help people in Iowa versus just sitting around and talking about them.